Hey guys, I'm Nashwa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with a recommendations video and um, short books for people who don't have time to read or are looking to read short books. Um, if you're discovering reading and you don't know where to start from, I think this would be a great start. Um, and if you're rediscovering reading, of course, you can always pick one of these books. Now, I've made a list of five books. All of them are very short um, because that's the point of the video, but all of them are under um, 200 pages. Some of them are less, so I'll keep telling you which books has how many pages. And because it's me, it's going to be a good mixture of fiction and non-fiction. So anyway, the first book that I'm going to talk about is called The Suicide Shop by an author whose name I can't pronounce, so I'll leave a picture here. This book is 169 pages, but the Kindle version I have is much shorter. It's basically about a family who is running a suicide shop. It's set in a dystopian society where um, if your life has been a failure, you can always look to success in terms of how you die. And this family, they sell you everything that you could possibly need to off yourself. You, they sell you guns, they sell you ropes, they send you knives, whatever um, option you choose, uh, they have it. And they're running a very successful business until their youngest son doesn't really understand what's happening. And he starts saying things like, see you again to the customers. And the father's like, how many times have I told you that we don't say that to customers because we're never going to see them again. So it's basically a dark comedy and it's extremely funny and i love it because of how weird and twisted it is and it kept me engaged like throughout i think i read it in a day because it's a short book but obviously if you don't have time you can break it up into several days um but yeah this was so much fun it's exactly the kind of book that i like it was very engaging very entertaining um yeah so it's a great book to start off with the next book that i'm going to talk about is called the grown-up by jillian flynn now, Gillian Flynn is one of my favorite um, writers when it comes to thrillers and twisted little books like that. I think Sharp Objects is one of my favorite thrillers, not because it's perfect, but because it's so engaging and it's so weird that it makes my dark, twisted little heart really happy. And this book basically does the same. So this book is 67 pages and the author wrote the story for George R. R. Martin. It's about this woman who is running a scam and she is pretending to be a psychic as um, a way of living, earning money. And on the side, she runs a business in the back of the shop where she is giving sexual favors to men as extra money comes in. So basically, she is telling people what they want to hear until one day she is approached by a housewife who has moved into a new house. It's a mansion and this woman is convinced that her house is haunted. So she comes um, and she asks the psychic to come look into her house for like spiritual beings or demons or whatever. And from there, it becomes a very, very twisted, weird book, the, exactly the kind of writing that you would expect from Gillian Flynn. But overall, this is a very, very entertaining and a very fun book to read. The third book that I'm going to talk about is called Legion by Brandon Sanderson. And yes, it's by Brandon Sanderson. And no, it's not a 900 page fantasy novel, but it's about this man called Stephen Leeds. And Stephen Leeds is schizophrenic. He has multiple personalities. All of these personalities are really sharp. They're very snarky. And all of these personalities have a certain skill set that they use. So these personalities are known as his aspects. And because of their skill set, they basically make Stephen Leeds a genius because they're all him. And um, the story is basically out of the Cosmere world. So it's not fantasy. But it's basically about someone recruiting Stephen Leeds and asking him to look for a very specific object which could um, change our perspective of the human world as it is. So this one is 68 pages. It is part of a trilogy, um, but I haven't read the other two yet. Um, the trilogy is pretty short, much shorter than his fantasy novels. But I think as a standalone, um, it wraps up the story nicely. All the loose ends are tied. So if you're looking for a fun, entertaining read without like the commitment, you can obviously refer to this. For the nonfiction books, the first book that I'm going to talk about is called Night by Elie Wiesel. This is 120 pages. And Elie Wiesel was a Holocaust survivor. He was from a Jewish family based in Romania. And he was, a, he was the winner of a Nobel Peace Prize. And this basically talks about how his family was picked up by the Nazis in the middle of the night um, and they were transported to the Auschwitz concentration camp. It's a very grim book about life in Auschwitz, how he was separated from his mother and sister the, the night that he went. It also talks about his loss of faith and how he lost, you know, his um, belief in God because why, what was God doing up there and not helping people? So this was a very like it was depressing but because he's a survivor it has that um it has that uplifting sort of feeling to it because you know it's something about like the human spirit that you can't break it and it was just an amazing read i read this on a plane um and usually i am surrounded by kids who are crying and wailing and this time it was a two-hour flight i finished the book 
and the whole time i was just so deeply engrossed in it that i didn't even notice what was going on around me so if you're looking for something serious and short um because usually with non-fictions it's harder to find shorter books so this would be a good one to start with the last book that i'm going to talk about is called death by julian barnes this is basically an excerpt from another book it's called nothing to be frightened of by the same author and it's basically um about death as you can tell by the title um but it's a look into our obsession with death people are always curious as to what happens to them so it's a very like witty take on the perspective of the whole thing about how you can improve your life and like some of the things that he has learned um there was an incident where he mentioned that he was very very scared of flying but then he sat at an airport and he noticed the frequency of the planes taking off and that sort of cemented his um belief that you know statistics can help you sort of understand that you don't have to be scared of flying like this is this is a normal thing to happen and he also talks about the possibility of death and how they can improve our careers a lot of the pages look like this so it's even less than 100 pages and yeah so if you're looking for something like more reflective this would be a good one to start with so yeah that's it for this video let me know what you think of my recommendations or if you'd like to see a part 2 Also if you have similar recommendations please um leave a comment below I'd love to dive into another short books thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video